Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Kaiser. I'm the Associate Director of Neurosciences and the Subspecialty Director of Spine Surgery at Valley Hospital. So the field of spine surgery is seen develop in several areas, uh, the most significant of which is our ability to perform minimally invasive spine procedures. So this is in part due to our uh, development of image navigation. Uh, it's a process in which a instrument held in a surgeon's hands is projected onto the real-time imaging of a patient so that we can more accurately implant spinal devices and also verify the appropriate localization of these devices in the operating room before the patient wakes up and before they leave the operating room. Another area is the development of spinal implants, particularly in the form of motion preservation or the artificial disc. Traditionally, when someone had a damaged disc, we would have to fuse the spine, which means locking the bones together and eliminating movement. We can now implant a mechanical device that replicates normal motion so that patients can maintain their mobility and avoid the adverse effects of a fusion. Finally, one of the last developments in spine surgery has been our ability to assess the patient's outcome more accurately. We do this by utilizing self-assessment questionnaires that the patient fills out so that they can convey their perception of how they're doing as opposed to a clinician subjectively assessing the patient's outcome. By better understanding how the patient is doing, we can more accurately assess the efficacy of our treatments and create a more effective continual treatment plan for patients. All these modalities allow us to best treat our patients and allow them to resume their normal activities and resume their quality of life that they enjoy.